The Indian pharmaceutical industry, estimated at nearly 26 billion US dollars, is at the forefront in manufacturing high quality, complex pharmaceuticals of the total global production with significant increase over the years. Today in the international arena, India is addressed as the world of pharmacy. The Indian pharmaceutical sector, with US FDA approved and EDQM certified drug manufacturing facilities, is supported by the intellectual property protection regime. In recent years, India has been ranked second to the USA in the successful filing of abbreviated new drug application or ANDA. With the growth in the global pharmacy industries, there is also an equal emphasis on promoting public health protection through regulatory mechanisms. Nearly 40 global pharmacopoeia standards work towards availability of the high-quality pharmaceutical products. In India, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare set up the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission, IPC, an autonomous body in January 2009 to promote the highest standards for drugs, pharmaceutical and healthcare devices technologies for use in humans and animals. The Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission, an ISO 9001-2008 certified organization, is guided by the mission to promote public health in India by bringing out authoritative and officially accepted standards for quality of drugs. Indian Pharmacopoeia Laboratory is NABL accredited and ensures the compliance with ISO IEC 17025-2005 in the field of chemical and biological testing. The Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission aims to publish Indian Pharmacopoeia and its addendum, a legal and official book of standards under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940 at regular intervals. This compendium contains drugs, monographs and general chapters on analytical test procedures and provides details on standards of identity, purity and strength of drugs. Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission has launched the edition of IP which comprises three volumes incorporating 287 new out of a total of 1,922 monographs. The Indian Pharmacopoeia has for the first time introduced quality standards for antiretroviral drugs, both active pharmaceutical ingredients and finished formulations. IPC also brought out the new edition of the Nation Formulary of India in 2011, which is the book of reference for medicines with a view to promote their rational views. It covers commonly used drugs in controlling national health care programs. As of 31st March 2013, we have made available IPRS, the list of which is available on the website www.ipc.gov.in. And by 2014, IPC intends to ensure availability of 450 most commonly required chemical, biological and recombinant product reference substances and provide 20 microbial strains to conduct microbiological tests. The Analytical Research and Development Department assists the Commission in development of new analytical methods, their validations and calibrations with other laboratories or industries while the Quality Assurances Department implements the quality policies and ensures compliance for accreditation with regular technical audits and skill enhancement through educational and training programs. The Publication and Documentation Department is responsible for all publications of IPC, including Indian Pharmacopoeia, its addenda and national formulary, and manages the library, documentation and information services. The modernization plan includes a concrete effort towards renovations of existing laboratories to state-of-the-art modern laboratories equipped to match technology innovation in this dynamic sector and to set up an eco-friendly campus with green features such as solar power generation and water harvesting system. The Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission also plans to expand its reach through regional facilities in Mumbai and Hyderabad by 2015 and in Bengaluru, Kolkata and Chennai by 2017. With globalization of pharmaceutical businesses, there is an increasing need for Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission to take a collaborative effort with industry regulators, practitioners, academic institutions and other international standard setting institutions to ensure availability of high quality, effective and safe medicines. A step in this direction is to set up international stations in the USA, 
the European Union, ASEAN, SARC and African countries under the administrative wing of IPC. Recognized as the center of excellence for standards by global authorities like the WHO, International Pharmacopias, US Pharmacopia, EDQM and the British Pharmacopia, IPC will also focus on establishing a functional relation with international conferences on harmonization in Geneva, Switzerland. By 2015, IPC will strive with IP standards among the other SARC, ASEAN, EU and other developed and developing countries. IPC is functioning as the National Coordination Center, NCC, for Pharmacovigilance Program of India since the 15th of April 2011. The major functions of NCC are to collect, collate and analyze adverse drug reactions, ADRs, to arrive at an inference to recommend regulatory interventions to Central Drugs Standard Control Organization besides communicating risks to healthcare professionals and the public through PVPI newsletters. To collect the ADRs from patients, ADR Monitoring Centers or AMCs are set up under NCC. Further, IPC in collaboration with the National Institute of Biologicals, NIB, have launched Chemovigilance Program, HP, on the 10th of December 2012 as an integral part of PVPI to monitor transfusion reactions and blood products administration. The Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission is committed to meet the stringent requirements for compliance with good pharmacopoeia practices, quality management system, environment management system, ISO 17025 and good laboratory practices. This will help and achieve global acceptance of the IP standards and facilitate cooperation between laboratories and other bodies to ensure harmonization of standards and procedures. The Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission intends to become a premier institution of India that ensures a ability of safe and effective medicines in the country. We will accomplish these objectives by following principles of transparency and accountability along with deep involvement of our dedicated staff and continuous support of the stakeholders. IPC is well on course to stand tall before the world community by adopting the highest standards of affordable quality medicines in the world to ensure quality healthcare for all.